Hey there, viewers! What happens to your body when you fast? Sure enough, skipping meals is an effective way of burning fat. That said, the health benefits of fasting exceed far beyond just simple weight loss. If you're planning to embark on your first fast or maybe looking for ways to improve your next one, you should keep in mind a few things. But first and foremost, you must learn the different stages of fasting. Doing so lets you prepare mentally and physically for what your body will undergo during the fast. We will discuss in detail each stage, along with what changes and benefits to expect. For instance, in the first 8 to 12 hours, you may be feeling hungry and tired. But then, once you get past those, your blood sugar starts stabilizing. Seems too good to be true? There's only one way to find out, so keep watching. Stage 1, 8 to 12 hours. Number 1, Stabilized Blood Glucose Levels Fasting starts about 8 hours after your last meal. During this time, it's mostly characterized by changes in your blood sugar levels. After going 8 hours without food, your blood glucose starts to drop. As a result, you may experience fatigue, hunger, food cravings, and trouble concentrating. But don't worry because those symptoms pass pretty fast. And so, by 12 hours, your body then starts tapping into your sugar stores and your blood sugar levels will stabilize. In addition, at 12 hours, your body will start entering the early stages of ketosis. This means your body stops relying on carbs for fuel and instead burns body fat stores to remain functional. Short-term fasting can also help lower blood pressure and boost insulin sensitivity. Hence, this type of fasting is especially beneficial for those with type 2 diabetes or other blood sugar issues. Stage 2, 12 to 18 hours. Now, moving to the second stage of fasting, your body should be in full ketosis by then. Because your body doesn't have enough carbohydrates to fuel it, the liver then starts converting fat stores into ketone bodies. Ketone bodies are bundles of fuel that power your heart, brain, and muscles. This stage of fasting provides three benefits. First off is appetite suppression. How does this really happen? Find out next. Number 1. Appetite Suppression Ketones suppress appetite. This means your hunger should start subsiding during this stage. According to many people who've done fasting, the journey gets easier as you fast for a longer time. After the first stage, your appetite normally declines. Number 2. Fat Loss in addition to suppressing your appetite, your body also goes into a fat-burning mode. And since your system doesn't have any food in it, your body starts burning through body fat quicker than normal. Moreover, at this time it also decreases ghrelin, the hormone that makes you want to eat a lot. What's more, ghrelin aids in regulating insulin levels, which in turn prevents food cravings. All those factors stop overeating. If you can tolerate intermittent fasting for 16 to 18 hours a day, Expect your body to be burning through fat and filling up quickly when you break your fast. As a result, it's easy for you to achieve a calorie deficit and lose weight. Number 3. Mental Clarity It's also during stage 2 of fasting that you get a boost in brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF. BDNF is a protein produced by the brain in the protection of the existing brain cells. It also promotes the growth of new brain pathways, not to mention improves learning and enhances mood. In animal studies, fasting and ketosis increase BDNF. Theoretically, this would have the same effect in humans, although they are yet to have reliable human studies. Stage 3 – 24 hours If or when you reach a full-day fast, then that's when your body switches to the repair mode. It starts recycling damaged or old cells and reduces inflammation. In short, if you want a natural anti-inflammatory or anti-aging method, a 24-hour fast might just be what you need. This body process is called autophagy. What is it? How can it benefit you? Learn the answers next. Number 1. Autophagy The body can be under mild stress during a workout session or an extended fast. When this happens, the cells respond by becoming more efficient. One way to be more efficient is to turn on autophagy. It's a Greek term that translates to self-eating. During autophagy, the cells look into the internal parts to find old, damaged, or poorly functioning cells and replace them with new ones. The old parts are either destroyed or turned into new materials. Based on studies, autophagy that's induced can benefit a person in many ways. 
such as by removing misfolded proteins linked to Alzheimer's disease, fighting age-related decline, keeping you biologically younger and protecting you against oxidative stress, helping eradicate cancer cells, reducing body-wide inflammation. Real quick, hit that like button and let's get back into it. Stage four, 36 to 48 hours. At the fourth stage of fasting, your body is transitioning from intermittent fasting to a longer fast. As the body gets accustomed to the several days of fasting, the growth hormone levels start shifting. Ultimately, this leads to a new batch of benefits, say muscle growth and repair. Pretty awesome, huh? Let's not wait then and continue right away. Number one, muscle growth and repair. A study of healthy adults concluded that a person's growth hormone secretion can be increased by a whopping 400% if they do 48-hour fasting. The same fasting plan can also boost the frequency of growth hormone bursts throughout the day. HGH, or human growth hormone, enhances muscle mass and activates faster muscle repair. Furthermore, it can also accelerate the healing process of wounds and even more serious injuries. HGH is so potent and effective in developing muscles that taking it externally is banned in professional sports as it is considered doping. Although it can seem counterintuitive, occasional fasting for two days can help build muscle. But the key here is to do it occasionally and never regularly. Stage 5, 72 plus hours. If you've lasted three full days without food and only water, then congratulations, you've reached the final stage of fasting. Before you consider doing this, it's imperative to understand that a 72-hour fast is a very serious undertaking. If you proceed with it, you must drink lots of water, have plenty of electrolytes, and above all, stop fasting if you start feeling lightheaded or unwell. Number one, stem cells and immune function. Based on research, 72-hour fasting can result in a near-complete rejuvenation of the immune system. Fasting triggers stem cell production, prompting the old immune cells to be replaced with new ones. Similarly, cancer patients who fast throughout chemotherapy treatment also got the same results. Normally, chemotherapy wrecks the immune system, hence why cancer patients undergoing chemo are much more prone to infections and illnesses. However, when these patients had a fast during chemo, their immune system remained strong throughout the process. A quick guide to fasting. Fasting is free and generally safe for most people. Plus, it's fairly simple. You just need to keep in mind two rules, hence our brief fasting guide. Let's get right into it then. Number one, choose a fasting window. Each stage of intermittent fasting comes with different benefits. For those stages, you can pick a window of time fast and stick to it. But one of the common practices is the daily approach, which restricts daily eating to one six to eight hour period each day. For example, you can try 16-8 fasting, or eating for 8 hours and fasting for 16 hours. Many are fond of this daily fasting regimen because it's easier to maintain for the long term. Another way is the 5-2 method, or eating regularly for 5 days a week, then limiting yourself to one 5 to 600 calorie meal for the other 2 days. Longer periods of fasting, such as 24 and more, can be dangerous. If you insist, make sure to speak with your doctor first. Number two, no calories. A true fast, or otherwise known as a water fast, includes zero calories during the fasting period. During those hours, you can drink water, black coffee, tea, and other zero calorie beverages. Anything with calories is prohibited as it will break your fast. As for the eating periods, eat normally, but not crazily. You're not likely to get healthier or lose weight if you stuff your eating time with high calorie junk foods and huge fried treats and items. Eat complex unrefined carbs instead, such as whole grains, lean protein, healthy fats, and leafy greens. So, what can you say about this video? Are you now fully on board after learning the things fasting can do to your body? What fasting window would best meet your health goals? Drop your comments and answers below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.